Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain how we can generate some random numbers in C Sharp. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, people, here's how to generate some random numbers. Just so you know, these are not true random numbers, but rather pseudo random numbers, and they're fairly darn close. So to create some random numbers, we'll need to instantiate a random object. Type random with an uppercase R, random with a lowercase R, equals new random, parentheses, semicolon. So the name of our random object is random. Really, you could have named this anything, but I usually just call it random. And we can use this object to generate random numbers. And there's a few built-in methods of this random object. To access them, add a dot, and we'll focus on the next method and next double method. Next, we'll generate a random whole integer. So we'll want to specify a range. This by itself will generate a random number between, I believe, zero and just over two billion. So we'll probably want to set a range. Let's pretend that we're rolling a six-sided dice. I need a random number between one and six. So I can set that range within the parentheses. So the minimum would be one, comma, and the max would be technically seven because the second number is going to be exclusive. So this will give us a random number between one and six. Just specify the range. And we'll store this within a variable int num equals random dot next, a random number between one and six. All right, and then let's display this. Console dot right line num. And we should have a random number between one and six. And we got six, all right. Then you can always make adjustments to this too. Like you can add, I don't know, 100. And that should give us a number between 101 and 106. So that's always an option too. Okay, now what if you need to roll a 20-sided dice, like we're playing Dungeons & Dragons, we use polyhedral dice. So that would be 1, 21. And this will give us a random number between 1 and 20, and we rolled an 8. Now there is a next double method, which will generate a random decimal number. So let's say double num equals random dot next double. And the random number will be between 0 and 1. So we have 0 0.7016 something 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 something. So if you need a random decimal or random double number, you can use random.next double. Otherwise, if you need a random whole integer, you're better off using the next method of random. Now, if you need, let's say, three random numbers, we can keep on reusing the same random object. We only need to instantiate it once. Let's say we're going to roll three dice. So three six-sided dice. Let's copy what we have and paste it twice. So we have num1, num2, num3. Then let's display these. Console.writeline num1, num2, and num3. So we will have three random numbers. And the result is three, six, and four. Well, okay then everybody, that is how to generate random numbers in C Sharp. I will post this code to the comment section down below. If you can, give this video a thumbs up, drop a random comment down below. And well, that's how to generate random numbers in C Sharp. 